So here's a, a real quick um, garage tour. So uh, unfortunately, the place is a complete mess right now because I'm in the middle of a number of different things. But real quickly, so let's see. So here we have my um, 1800ES. It's currently sitting on these... Um, um, uh, what do you call these car dollies because I'm getting ready to pull the engine um, let's see so here on this wall this is this uh, shelf that I um, welded up and this is uh, basically it's all uh, bolted in there so it's uh, designed so the majority of the load gets transferred to the floor with virtually no um, moment um, acting on the wall on the uh, wall there uh, so right now I just have it loaded with mostly um, uh, my spare metal bits. Um, this is my wall of manifolds up here. So there's various manifolds that I've been, um, uh, that I'm going to try to see if I can cut bits of these off to fit on the uh, B230 so it'll fit um, in there. So that's just uh, that sort of stuff. Um, That is a uh, Ford um, uh, World Class T5 transmission that will eventually go in the Volvo. So right now it's just sitting there on the shelf. There's a B230 head, and uh, all right. So here, let's see. So I have I have the the uh, I have the lathe here. Um, here is the vertical mill, vertical mill stuff. Um, this is a bandsaw that I converted. This is a wood bandsaw that I converted to metal. This has a um, variable speed uh, DC motor and a, uh, I think it's like a 18 to one um, uh, compound um, belt reduction that I put in there. It's on a variable speed control that I designed for this. Um, there's a surface plate measuring stuff that is really dusty at the moment. Um, this is a cabinet. Um, you know, just various stuff in here. Um, this uh, this actually came out of a hospital that uh, it was like a um, some sort of uh, microfiche storage thing, but it's the basically the same thing as the um, Lista cabinet. So these. These are really nice because they're like, uh, I think they're like 30 inches deep or something, so it's really nice. Um, and then another cabinet I built there. This is uh, my fab bench, workbench. Um, it's uh, welded together out of steel. Um, top is uh, it's one and a quarter steel plate that I picked up at the scrapyard. Um, this is cool. This is actually an old um, cast iron surface plate that I got. Um, and uh, so I only do sort of precision alignment and stuff there. So there's a TIG welder. There's the uh, belt sander. This right here, this is a taken apart um, surface grinder. I'm in the middle of rebuilding the uh, surface grinder. I uh, hand scraped um, all of the uh, ways and um, tables so they're dead flat. So I need to get um, that put back together so I can actually surface grind on stuff. So it's uh, another cabinet I made, um, press, uh, toolbox. Uh, this is a TIG. Um, I'm also making another welding um, cart so the TIG is going to go above the MIG and right now I just have the MIG inside and my wife is not super happy about that so I'll, I'm gonna make this so that TIG is there, MIG is there, and dual, yeah, dual bottles there in the back. Um, let's see, toolboxes. Uh, bench there, storage up there. Um, that's another shelf that I made to fit up there. All the other various bits are there. So, um, okay. Uh, God, there's another manifold that I 
Um, I'm making a manifold for uh, uh, my friend that I still need to get together for him. Um, so, ah, um, yeah, so lathe here. This is the uh, B230FT that's currently just sitting there. Um, pick this up at a really great price, so it's just uh, sitting there. Um, these are lathe tools, lathe tooling and stuff. Um, love this thing. This is a Harbor Freight horizontal bandsaw, which is, has some stuff on it, but yeah, really, really great. Um, probably my most used tool. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's a real quick little, um, Andy, uh, garage um shop tour so um thanks